Robert? These are my body. I, since someone touched me, that's all I remember. You're not going to like finding an empty coffin. It's not empty. Don't ask. But, Robert, it's, it's been years. Yeah. What is it? What's wrong? Whoever is responsible sends the chief a message at the police station. The cure. What's the ransom? They want the key to Tir Nanog. The land of the young? Do you even have that? Yes, it is the responsibility of the Celt. Dorian, there is no way you're going to give them the key to, well, heaven. Leah. We cannot help you. I cannot help you. Medicine is our only help. Magic can do much, but it cannot bring back the dead any more than it can kill us. We watch you get sick, we watch you age, we watch you die, but it has never been like this. Well, if you feel it's necessary, then I understand. I think it is. How are you, anyway? Yeah, I've been better. But has it been a total loss? Robert's been telling me stories about the war. So why'd you do it? Why'd you join? For Dahlia. I find I have more of an interest in humankind than I've taken. I just want to be a part of history. I wanted to prove to the Fae that Selkies aren't useless, gentle creatures, that we too can be savage and merciless. It was the right thing to do. You're above and cheap. You spent a year of a moral code. It's not exactly what I would call a moral code, Selkie. But some things are just the right thing to do. Sometimes we choose them regardless. I was addicted and people died because of me. People died because of me anyway. I'm a vampire. But this was heartless, soulless, this was evil, and evil is not a monster in the night like us. It's not the same, but it'll do. There's no reason to waste human life on this scale. Eventually there will be none left, and then where will we be? We rely on them, for love, or blood, or both. I don't think it's a morality thing, it's just sensible. What was it like? The smoke. Like nothing I've ever felt. Some vampires start human. We, the Bob and she, never get a chance. The heartbeat, the wash of feeling, the taste of food. There's nothing like it. But it wasn't real. It doesn't make you human, it makes you hallucinate. Then it makes you insane because you can't handle it. I dropped it after I saw it happen to others. Off of the smoke. It's a pain that's so excruciating you would prefer death if death were a release the Fae could hope for. An altruistic vampire? I never thought I'd see the day. It's not altruism, it's common sense, Magnus Gray. They die, we starve, and starve without dying. You starve for love, your people wander lonely. Gregoire's people never find the acceptance of the humans, or even the possibility of it to still drive them. Humans need fairy stories. We need them. Right, men. Get some rest if you're the kind of creature that needs it. <sighs> Don't ask enough stories for one night. I need to get back to the hotel. Get some sleep, Leah. Sure thing, Robert. Thanks. Of course. I'll be back to check up on you tomorrow. <laughs> wow, Dorian. You've had one hell of a life. These stories are incredible. Wish you'd told me them before. But I have to admit, having Robert Burns telling me bedtime stories is not something I'm going to complain about. Well, there is one story that Robert doesn't know. Isn't that right, Dorian? 
I don't think now is really the best Now time. is definitely the best time, Gregoire. What do you mean? Gregoire, can you move the most badly injured here to the front, please? Thank you. Hello, you want to make yourselves useful, you can grab some of this ointment. We've got a lot of wounded. One of the Fae lost an arm last night. But with Gregoire's stitching, we'll get him back together and it will attach itself in no time. Desdemona, we're here on official business from Caledonia Interpol. Ha! <laughs> Those idiots! Yes, well, what do they want now? There is a war on, you know. Those idiots are putting you under arrest for smuggling Fey opium into Scotland. Interesting. And who exactly informed Caledonia Interpol of that? As of today, you are exiled. Your crime, though severe, does not warrant execution. You have- Magnus Grey, I am the commander of the entire Fey Battalion. If you remove me from duty, I do not know what will happen. You must know that I would have nothing to do with the smoke. You were an addict! That was a long time ago. I am not that person anymore. You cannot remove me from duty. I trusted you. I protected you on the field of battle, and the best the two of you could do is whip up some wind. I will not forget this betrayal. Magnus, maybe- No, Dorian. Addicts are often liars. So be it on your head, Magnus Grey. Good luck with the rest of the war. Did she do it, Dorian? No. We were wrong. Did Robert ever find out what happened to Desdemona? No, but he assumed the worst. Eventually he gave up looking. I don't think he ever stopped loving her. I sometimes wonder if he'd have been a different man. I wonder many things. He had a good life though, for all that. What the hell, Dorian? You need to tell him! She never loved him. Will you never get it through your head that it's not up to you? Have you ever told him that it was you? Or Magnus? You betrayed her and you were wrong! And not a night has passed since that I do not chastise myself for it, but it is a wound that will never heal. Or you could tell him the truth. And it can make him hate you, but at least he would know, and he could make his own decision. What is important is getting you better. I have to return to Glasgow. We do not have much time. Don't be too angry with Dorian. I don't often see that expression on his face. What's that? Superiority? Because I can tell you, where's it all the time? No, Leia. Fear. I've never seen him so terrified. Not since, well, before. He thinks this will be the end. Thank you.